Welcome to Edu Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we learn about waves and sound waves. Let us first talk about waves. Any kind of disturbance that moves or propagates in a definite direction is called wave. For example, light is a kind of wave in which the electromagnetic disturbance propagates in a definite direction. Other examples of waves are sound waves, waves produced in water, and etc. The general representation of wave is represented in the following figure. The regions or the points of maximum disturbance are called crest and the points of minimum disturbance are called trough. The straight line shows the average value of disturbance. Here in the figure A and B are the crest, C and D are the trough. Now let us discuss about types of waves. The waves are divided into two categories on the basis of requirement of medium. On the basis of requirement of medium, the waves are divided into mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. Mechanical waves are those waves which require material medium like air, any liquid or solid to travel, example sound waves. Electromagnetic waves are the waves which does not require any kind of material medium to travel, example light waves. In the outer space, light waves can travel but sound waves cannot. There is another basis on which we divide waves, on the basis of direction of disturbance with respect to direction of propagation of wave. On the basis of direction of disturbance with respect to direction of propagation of wave, the waves are divided into two categories, the transverse waves and the longitudinal waves. Transverse waves are the waves in which disturbance occurs in a direction perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave, example light waves, waves produced in water, etc. The longitudinal waves are the waves in which the uh, disturbance propagates along the direction of motion waves, example sound waves. Now let us talk about terminology of waves. First let us discuss wavelength. The distance between two successive crests or two successive trough is known as wavelength. The wavelength is denoted by lambda. The SI unit of wavelength is meter. In the given figure, these are the crests and the distance between these crests is the lambda which is the wavelength or the distance between these troughs is the wavelength lambda. Second is time period. The time taken to complete one oscillation is called time period. In the given figure OA represents one complete oscillation and the time taken to complete this os oscillation is actually time period. Now third is frequency. The number of waves passing through a given point in unit time is known as frequency. In this figure, the enclosed uh, portion is, uh, is known as one wave and the number of such waves that pass through a given point in one second is actually the frequency. Now let's talk about amplitude. The magnitude of maximum disturbance or minimum disturbance is called amplitude. The amplitude is denoted by A. Its SI unit as, is same that of wave disturbance. For example, if wave disturbance is expressed in density or pressure, then the unit of amplitude will be that of density or pressure like kg per meter cube or pascal. In this figure, the, the straight line represents the amplitude. This is the maximum disturbance and this is the minimum disturbance. The both of these magnitude are same and this is what is amplitude. Now let us discuss about sound. Sound is yet another kind of energy. Its behavior is similar to that of waves. That's why it is considered as wave. It is a mechanical wave and thus requires a material medium like air to travel. It is a longitudinal wave. Now let us understand how sound is produced. Any vibrating source can produce sound. Now let us consider the example of tuning fork. When tuning fork vibrates, it displaces the air in front of it and creates a region of high pressure and density. When it comes back, it creates a region of low pressure and density. In this way, when uh, this process continues until the sound reaches our tears, ears and, and in this way sound is produced. These regions high pressure and density are called compressions and the region of low pressure and density are called rarefactions. Now let us discuss about propagation of sound. Sound as we know needs a material medium to travel. 
therefore we cannot hear sound in vacuum areas like moon or outer space sound waves consist of alternative regions of high pressure and density that is the compressions and the low pressure and density which are the rarefactions so for sound waves wave disturbance is equivalent to density of pressure areas so the points a and b are the regions of compressions and the points c and d represent rarefactions in sound waves or any kind of wave an important thing to note is the material particles do not themselves travel it is only the disturbance that reaches our ears the particles of medium only vibrates about their mean position and transfer the disturbance and energy